a six, seven, eight parental guidance, parental guidance. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Parental Guidance. I'm Andrew. I'm Farrah. We're so glad you're here. This week we've got a book review, a little book review for you. Mm -hmm. Another classic, actually. Another rabbit based classic. Oh, wow. Yeah. We do have a couple, we have a lot of rabbit books. I think it's a popular kind of sub genre. So this week we've got a classic book that uh, I have strong feelings about. Surprise, surprise. Mostly in the negative. Of course. <clears throat> Guess How Much I Love You by Sam McBratney, illustrated by Anita Jerum. <laughs> First of all, we have the board book edition for babies, and it has this little, I don't know if you can see this little gold sticker on it, which, if you're just glancing, leads you to believe that it's the winner of, like, the National Book Award, or, like, the Children's Book Association Club. No. It's, it's just a guess how much I love you 20 year celebration sticker. 20 years of this crap. Here's what's nice about having the board books, though, because this is a classic book, and so... When I had it as a little girl, I had the paper version. The board book is nice because the baby can grab it and you can chew on it. And Sturdy. I have so much to say about this book. I have so much to say about this book. What do you think about the book? Well, I think it's a classic book. Yep. I think that it's a really sweet story about a baby bunny mm -hmm. and a daddy bunny yep. who both love each other very, very much. You want to just read quickly, read the first couple of sure. pages and we'll get the kind of general Little idea here? Little Nut Brown Hair, who was going to bed, held on tight to Big Nut Brown Hair's very long ears. He wanted to be sure that Big Nut Brown Hair was listening. Hold on, let's stop there. The, our characters are Little Nut Brown Hair and Big Nut Brown Hair. You're a Big Nut Brown Hair. Yeah, I am. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said Big Nut Brown Hair. This much, said Little Nut Brown Hair, stretching out his arms as wide as they could go. Big Nut Brown Hair had even longer arms, but I love you this much, he said. Mmm, that is a lot, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. Right, and then basically that's the whole book. The little one reaches high, I love you this much. The big one reaches higher, I love you this much. There's a, to your toes, and there's there's bouncing, and there's hopping, and there's all kinds of examples. The moral of the book is this. Love's a competition. No. Don't get it wrong. Love's a competition, and it's winnable. You just have to prove to your loved one that they don't love you as much as you love them, which makes you better. No. Yeah. No. I not, think it's a great lesson. Not the moral. The moral is that love abounds. There's love. Love can always grow more and more and more. They have this argument for most of the book about who loves who more. The parent wins every time. Then by the end, the little brown hair falls asleep while saying, I love you right up to the moon. That's nice. Big nut brown hair gives a concession. Oh, that's far. Finally, little nut brown hair gets a little bit of a win. He can go to bed with the full knowledge that love between a parent and child is a competition. Make no mistake. The kid falls asleep satisfied. Dad leans over and kissed him goodnight. Then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile, I love you right up to the moon and back. He might as well just go, hey, hey kiddo, fuck you. I'll put a horn, a hog, a horn, a hog. A hog horn? Oh, right? I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. I mean, I, I guess that's one way to interpret it. Even the back. How much can you love someone? Little Nut Brown Hair wants to show Big Nut Brown Hair how very much he loves him. But love as big as his is very hard to measure. That's not what the book's about. Love is easy to measure according to the book. <laughs> and whoever has more wins. I think it's about two hairs who really love each other. Oh, they totally really and love And love them. only grows. Let's say that I was large nut brown hair and you were medium nut brown hair. Yes. Who do you think would win our love battle? You. <laughs> Moving forward, we think that if, if, there's, uh, if we review something that we wouldn't generally say, this is a great thing, we should, we should... Counterbalance that. That's right, we should counterbalance that 
with something that we think is. <clears throat> you don't like Guess How Much I Love You? I do, but you know. But let's say you don't. We recommend I Love You Night and Day. It's by Sariti President Halls, illustrated by Allison Brown. <laughs> Rhymes are beautiful, the illustrations are gorgeous. It's like, it's a really sweet read and I get a little choked up every time I read it. I'm just gonna read the very end because it makes me feel warm inside. We may have to cut it out. Okay. I love you night, I love you day, in every moment, come what may. It rhymes too. Because I love you with my whole heart. Probably. From where you end, where you start. Isn't that nice? And it rhymes. Guess what doesn't rhyme at all? <laughs> Guess how much I love you. I would give this a 9 out of 42. Where are you getting this? Don't worry about it. What about from? you? I'm gonna give it a 30 out of 42. That's like a, probably a C plus. You give everything a C plus. I love you night and day. Thumbs this up. Is great. I give this 57 out of 63. I'll also give it a 57 out of 63. Sure. Thank, Thank you, you for, for joining. Me. Stop it. Thank, Thank you, you for, for joining, joining us. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> anyway, really. Thank, Thank you, Missin. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.